stronger than the toughest steel ever made is the strength of will determined to exceed defined benchmarks and more powerful than all the energy generated is the energy of synergy focused on the future driven by the strength of will Bhushan Power and Steel Limited has risen and risen to rank among India's leading steel makers and this growth story has never been interrupted in over four decades not even during the toughest times for the global steel industry this places the company among the handful of steel conglomerates with a significant presence across the entire steel value chain both in the upstream and downstream segments a fully integrated 2.3 million ton steel making enterprise with 1.8 million tons of HR coils and half a million tons of billets per annum along with this the company has 506 megawatt power generating capacity currently producing 376 megawatt of power the downstream facilities consisting of galvanizing galvaloom color coating precision tubes black pipes GI pipe and wire rod and bar mill are about to commence production the cold rolling mill has already commenced production with this the Orisa plant becomes one of the most unique integrated steel complexes in the global steel industry with a turnover of over 5,000 crore rupees the company draws its strength from the strategic location of its plants and from its solid strategy of total integration of plants, products, markets. The company's sprawling 1,300 acre integrated steel and power complex in Orissa has become a landmark in the Indian steel industry. As of now, 8 DRI kilns of 500 TPD are producing 1.2 million tons per annum of spun giant, which is captively used for making HR coils and billets and 4 DRI kilns of 500 TPD to produce 0.6 million tons per annum are under implementation. A state-of-the-art raw material preparation facility ensures continuous feeding of iron ore and coal to the plant. To ensure steady water supply to the plant, the company has created large water reservoirs that are fed by the backwaters of Hirakud Dam. Two sophisticated coal washeries are making optimum use of coal inputs. Upgraded coal goes into the DRI kilns for making sponge iron, whereas coal rejects are utilized by the power plants AFBC and CFBC boilers for producing power. These power plants are also making optimum use of waste heat from the DRI kilns to produce additional steam for power generation. The power plant has been connected to the state power grid for parallel running and steady power transmission. To meet the plant's coal requirements, the company has been allotted Jamkhani and Bijhan non-coking coal blocks. Production from Jamkhani coal block is expected shortly. An oxygen plant has been set up for use in the blast furnace and electric arc furnace. The coke oven plant produces suitable substitute for imported quality coke which is required in the blast furnace for reduction of iron ore into hot metal. For this purpose, the company has been allotted the Rone coking coal block in the state of Jharkhand. To make optimum use of iron ore fines and coke fines, a center plant is in operation, the output of which is feedstock for the blast furnace. The company has put up a 1,008 cubic meter blast furnace for producing 0.78 million tons per annum hot metal which is used in the electric arc furnace through the torpedo ladle and in the pig casting machine for making pig iron. This substantially reduces power consumption in steel melting. The liquid steel from the arc furnace goes to the ladle furnace for refining and then to the thin slab caster to make slabs. These slabs run through a tunnel furnace for hot rolling in CSP mill for producing HR coil. The liquid steel is also used in the billet caster for making billets. To transport raw material and finished products, railway siding and wagon tippler is functional. This facility enables the plant to supply HR coils and billets for captive use in Kolkata and Chandigarh as well as for sales to the market. While this integrated steel and power plant in Orissa 
has captive production spanning the entire steel value chain. It also caters to the requirement of raw material for the company's own five plants in and around Chandigarh, one plant in Kolkata and to the group's overseas plants in Nepal and Nigeria which have been in production for a long time. To further spread its wings and leverage global opportunities for sustained growth, the group is in the process of setting up plants at Sudan, Ethiopia, Benin, Senegal, Ghana and Angola. Reinforcing its credentials as a dynamic Indian transnational, the group has also set up a sprawling trading facility in Dubai to optimize global trading efficiencies. The company's ultra-modern plant in Kolkata manufactures CR coils, CRCA coils, galvanized plain and corrugated sheets. The plant also features a downstream value addition facility for the manufacture of black pipes, precision tubes and cable tapes. Plot number 141-142 in Chandigarh manufactures narrow cold rolled strips and sheets, the raw material of which is HR coil. Plot number 83 at Chandigarh manufactures precision tubes from CR coil slits. The company's plant at Dera Basi manufactures black pipes, GI pipes and cable tapes. Plot number 71 at Chandigarh is an integrated facility for special alloy steel and carbon steel melting and rolling. Plot number 3 in Chandigarh manufactures tore steel, wire rods and wires. Exports to over 35 countries include CR coils for the group's own Nepal and Nigeria plants which produce galvanized plain and corrugated sheets. Looking ahead, the company is further planning to put up an integrated steel and power plant in Jharkhand with a capacity of 3 million tons per annum of steel and 900 megawatt power. For this purpose, the company has been allotted iron ore, non-coking coal and coking coal mines. The company also plans to put up a 1.2 million tons per annum steel plant, 300 megawatt power plant and IPP in the state of Chhattisgarh. The company has achieved stupendous growth on the strength of integration. A strong focus on captive competencies has ensured that Bhushan Power and Steel Limited ranks among the few steel makers to record uninterrupted growth and profits for over four decades. Indeed, the new age HR coil and special alloy steel making facility puts the company in the elite league of real value creators in steel and the best is yet to come.